For practice it, exercise 1.13 star figures, we're asked to write a complete Java program in a class named star figures that generates the following output. We need to use static methods to show structure and eliminate redundancy in our solution. First, like it asks us to, we are going to have a star figures class. It's going to be a public um, class that is called star figures with a starting brace and a closing brace. Inside of here we have our public static void main and we have a string args and then we have braces in here like this to close our main method. We can notice that this is used multiple times and so is this. The only thing that's not used multiple times is this right here. So what we can do is make a method and we can call it line that represents this, these two lines right here. And then we can make a method called five which represents this right here. And we can since we have a space and we use this um, twice, we actually don't need a space method and we could just write a space in our main method. First, we are going to have line. We're going to have our five as well, like this. Now it's time to code these methods. So we have a public static void line. We have a starting brace. And then inside of here, we're just going to have a system dot out dot print ln. And inside of here, we will take this and print it out like this. And then we are going to do the same thing where we take this and then just print it out one more time. Once we do that, we can go on to our next method and close this, which is going to be public static void five. And then in here, we will have a system dot out dot print ln. And in here, we have our first line of code, which is this. And then Next, we have another print line statement, and it will have the next line, which is just this single star right here. So we have the single star, and now we are just going to print two stars again. So we can really just copy this first line right here. Then close this method. That looks good. So now we can go back in our main method. So we have line, and then we have our five, and then we have a blank line. So we can do system dot out dot print ln to create a blank, a, a blank line like this. This is spelled incorrectly. It should be like this, system. And then we have our line again. And then we have a five, no space, and we go back into our line method. And then we have um, a space, so system.out.println. And then we have these three stars right here. So we can make another method, and we can call this one, and we'll call it um, we'll call it three, we can call it, we can, we can, um, either just have one star in it or we can have three or we can have a, a method that has three stars in it. So we can either do one method and call it three times with just one star or a method that has three stars in it. For this, we can just do a method that has three stars in it and we'll still call it one. So it's going to be public static void one like this and then inside of here we'll have a system dot out dot print ln like that 
and then inside of here we will have our line of code that looks like this and then we are going to print this out two more times in here so instead of actually doing that we can just copy and paste that and then have a closing brace like that so now that should call that method and then we are going to need our line method again and then lastly our five method we can close up our main method make sure all of our other methods look good and so does our class and then press submit this was spelled incorrectly and after we spell that right we can run it and see that we have passed all of the tests.